does Nickelback actually suck or are we just conditioned to think that they suck? This is a debate that Amir and I are going to be having and it sort of was spawned by frontman of Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan's response to a question on Joe Rogan's podcast. He was basically asked about the band. He says, I don't know enough about their world, but I don't think there's anything wrong if that's who you want to be. Pop is predicated on satisfying. I've said many times, pop is porn. It's porn, they want to get you off. It's just how they are going to get you off. I'm not that concerned with getting you off. I'm just not. So kind of a strange kind of a strange uh, response, but uh, also a nickelback porn comparison is something no. I truly never want to see. Um, so now we're gonna have Dickleback. this debate, Dickle, Dickleback. God, it, the name almost works too well, I'm sure it exists. Mm -hmm. Sophie, look that up on Pornhub, I'm just kidding, no, don't, don't do that, do that. you're don't at work. Um, okay, so we're, we're, we're conditioned to hate Nickelback. There are some tweets just to point out, Pugs are the Nickelback of dogs, Crocs are the Nickelback of shoes, Why is Comic Sans the Nickelback of Why are fonts? Pugs the Nickelbacks of dogs? That's what you're mad like, at? Yeah, <laughs> people hate Pugs all of a sudden, this is news Look, to me. apparently Tiny Gay does that's just one Twitter user Fuck tiny you, Ga tiny Ga Gale I think it only had stay tiny she only had four likes yeah, so a lot yeah, of people no just shit think because no one likes that tweet at all <laughs> look look here here's here's the debate that we that we're gonna be that we're gonna be getting into and uh, I should say that I did a lot of research this morning and mm -hmm. yesterday for this conversation Why you're talking a draw <laughs> <laughs> I should say. I did research on Nickelback. You don't this know what listening to this much Nickelback does to your mind. Okay, so here's what I've come to the conclusion of. Nickelback has had rocks thrown at them at concerts. They have regularly been booed off of stage. <laughs> been booed off of stage. And and is it right? I don't think that's right. I don't think that you should ever throw rocks at anyone just for playing their music. You know what I mean? They just want to express themselves. Yeah. That said. I have taken a deep dive into their discography, and I feel comfortable in saying that um, they, they had a song uh, that was their like main release um, before "How You Remind Me" that was very good, in the sense that it was like what we so basically like Pearl Jam and, and Nirvana. Wait, listen, Pearl Jam and. And Nirvana had sort of like were not were not as big anymore, and so Nickelback wanted to capitalize, I guess, on their success by taking a by taking a pop look at their you know grungy hard rock type guitars, um, and then they put out "How You Remind Me" and uh, "Silver Side Up." Which was an album that I paid my friend to burn for me. Um, you would pay your friend to burn an album for you. Yeah, but and you, that's something you just didn't do when like CD burning was a thing. Like you don't pay someone. I paid her. God. That's how badly and then I wanted that. You probably apologized album. to her afterwards. Yeah, too. probably. Like I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, that sorry I you paid had you. to like go through the time of doing this for me. And look, and that album is it is exactly what it is. How you remind me is a is a is a good song, and it was so good for them that all their songs following that were pretty much modeled off of this. I would urge you guys to check out on YouTube. Just type in. How to write a Nickelback song, and a bunch of covers and mashups will come up, which show you uh, how similar all their songs are. So they found a formula, which was basically taking a pop look at uh, and adding hooks to like Pearl Jam, the grunge movement, um, and they sort of co-opted that. Uh, to chart some success, and then they just kept doing that, and then they just kept doing it, and then they just started hitting you over the head with that. And then they have some questionable sex lyrics that are weird, and then they also have a song where they use uh, only like childhood nursery rhymes, but in like a, in a <laughs> gnarly way, where it's just like Jack be nimble, like Jack be quick, like Jack broke his neck. It's just shit like yeah. that. It's Poor so Jack. look. So this is the conclusion I came to, and I want to get your take. I don't. They're not. They're not. Good musically, and they—it's annoying to listen to a lot of them. And I've listened to a lot of Nickelback because it sounds kind of the same. But you cannot diminish the fact that they are hugely successful. They are a wildly yeah. successful band, and I am not sure what it is with our society in general that you want to just have a punching bag. That's and I, all it is, Grace. Like prediction. That is all it is. Like they're. They're not great, but they're not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. People listen no, but to, they aren't, they people really listen are to shitty music all the time and we're told it's fucking great. And also like just look at like hip hop right now and like that hip hop fucking is garbage. 
you know, like the most popular music there. What they did is they capitalized on a trend. Remember yeah. like Daughtry, remember like Seether, remember Three Doors Down. Yeah, uh, this is totally. Like, they just capitalized on a trend and they did it, they did it better than anyone. Yeah. That's they found that like grungy voice, and that was huge. They Creed. did the theme to Creed Spider Man. Sounds a lot like them too. I always mix Nickelback and Creed. Yeah. Is and that crazy? No, but that I really liked Creed when I was a kid. Right, and that's the thing. Like, that's the problem. But like, they all their the music doesn't sound any different to me than Pearl Jam, Jam's, for instance. Like, Pearl Jam came out with a new album a few years ago. I'm gonna beat. And I fucking I tried listening to it because everyone was talking about it. It's fucking garbage, man. It sounds the same to me as Nickelback. And I'm sorry for all you Pearl Jam fans and everything, but like. How how is it any fucking different? I need to leave. Society is just telling you like, oh, they're so bad. No, Let's make memes out of them. No one is telling. Then explain to me like why Pearl Jam is like so amazing. Because they are. Have you listened to the lyrics of Jeremy? Just no, like no, just you I can't listen to the lyrics of lyri Jeremiah or like okay, no. Zacharias. Listen, look, this is an awful comparison. Bethlehem. I hate that you did this. I hate that you did this to me. Look. Just lyrically alone, and we could get into the musicality and the showmanship, but lyrically <laughs> or it's alone. It's about to explode. Yes. Okay, Amir, I have to bust in, and I can answer. This. I can answer your question, and hopefully, I am a voice of reason. Okay, Pearl Jam. When you listen to their music, and this is a question that I ask you: Does their music stand for something? Pearls. Pearl Jam. Their music. Do they stand for anything? I don't know. Well, you should I listen. I can't. I can't listen to more than one song of theirs. Okay, that's totally understandable. Because it's subjective. All of this shit is totally subjective. Because when you listen to Pearl Jam and groups like Nirvana and Soundgarden, when you dive deep into their music, they stand Fucking for something. Nerd. Nickelback, they don't stand for anything because they follow the I, formula I from the previous that, that elders is, before. That is a great argument. That is that why. Part is yes, Nickelback, that's a great argument. And I think that, that's probably that's here's, the core here's, point. Here's how bad Nickelback is. Nickelback is so bad, they make Limp Bizkit look like the Beatles. Oh, that's that's a that's a leap. But Bart, I I appreciate that was Bart and the sound booth guys. Uh, we have an awesome team working here at Pop Trigger, and I God bless you, Bart. Thank you for defending Pearl Jam. How dare you? Okay, Look I'm what sorry. you you made Bart. You should give me some Pearl Jam songs to listen to. Actually I actually understand. Absolutely and will. I'm probably still not going to like them. <laughs> but this is what I would like to it's make. Like Guns and Roses. <laughs> They've had like two good hits, and everything else just sounds like fucking noise to me. Well, I mean. Recently, yes. But look, okay, let's and just- And like, can I also like add, because I'm gonna get a lot of hate in the comments, like I love noise music. Like I love like Slipknot, I'm a huge Slipknot fan. And like other music in that genre. But like, there's like, just like some of these, okay, don't fucking rub your nose at I'm me. I'm literally thumbing my nose yeah, at you. Yeah, you thumb that, okay, anyway, go, go on ahead. Okay, this is what I would like to point out. Uh, when it comes to hating Nickelback mm -hmm. and acknowledging that they are hugely successful, Nickelback is the chain smokers mm -hmm. in the sense that we might, it might feel foreign now, but this style of music, like this poppy hard rock, was huge. They did the soundtrack to Spider Man, like the hero will save us. Yeah. Like it was huge. Look at the soundtrack to Daredevil. They wanted Daredevil to be a huge movie. That's I why the movie personally enjoyed bombs. it. It was all like new metal and hard rock. Like that was the trendy music at the time. Right now, it's EDM, and who co-ops that and you know makes it? lends their talents to that better than anybody. It's the chain smokers. But years from now, children, when you are, you know, 10 years from now and you're looking back, it will be cringy to be like, I had a chain smokers tea like t-shirt because of how obviously they have used it's all just a marketing ploy. Look yeah, at they're the, like the, the Jake Pauls of music. Well, that's it. I, I Jake Paul, you know, he does make music. Yeah, he's the Jake Paul. He's of music. the Jake Paul yeah. of music. Uh, so like when you look at uh, what, is, okay, so that, that that song they did with "I Want Something Just Like This" with the, with the Coldplay singer, that is their song "Roses," but "Roses" wasn't as popular when it came out, and so they just did it again, Chainsmokers, with Coldplay because they had access to Chris Martin because they're fa because they're like famous now. It's just how much do you hate a sellout? And if you hate a sellout a lot, then you probably really hate Nickelback in the same way that you will probably really hate the Chainsmokers ten years from now when you look back because we all just like like you're gonna pay for 
through these like burning of the CDs, just like I did. I paid my hard earned money for a Nickelback burned CD, and and you're gonna be embarrassed to admit it because you know that they're like that they don't care about you. They don't give a shit about you. They just want your money and they see the dollar signs and they see how they can do it and they just keep doing that formula over and over and over again. The song Photograph is literally the exact same as their song Someday, even though it came out on two different albums. Fight me on this. It's the same chord pattern and everything. Um, do us all a favor and buy buy a similar album. I regret that you look. Uh, I now I feel uncomfortable. Um, but now we want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think? about this debate, please give some love to Bart in the comments section below. Bart, you rarely make an appearance on the show, but it's always a special time when it happens. We want we want you guys to weigh in on this debate. This was a very lively debate. What are we right? Are we wrong? Let us know. Those Pearl Jam suck. You can go, you can go fuck yourself in the comments section below. Amir, do me a favor. Listen to a song by Pearl Jam from their second album called WMA. It's a song about police brutality. Now find a song by Nickelback that ha that makes some type of stance, and we'll I have will. this conversation later. I will. Okay. And with, on that note, but this is one of my favorite videos we've done in a while. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we will see you next time on Pop Trigger.